So in the past, we have had phone calls from buyers locally and moving to the city who are trying to figure out where they want to live in Calgary. And what's interesting is sometimes there are many of them who know where they don't want to live and they say the Northeast. Well, today we are in the Northeast and we are going to be talking about the pros and the cons about living in the Northeast part of Calgary because I think there's some things that not everybody knows about or realizes. So let's talk about the cons first. And the first con in living in the northeast part of Calgary is actually you're a little bit segregated from the rest of the city. And what I mean by this, if you look on a map, you'll have Deerfoot Trail kind of down the middle. And just to the east of Deerfoot Trail, there's going to be a large section of industrial, commercial, uh, warehouse type areas. And you'll have blocks upon blocks of that. And not until you get maybe around, I don't know, Sunridge Mall, something like that. At that point, that's when the residential part starts. So that's your first con is you're kind of segregated from the rest of the city. You have to drive through a lot of things to get to other parts of Calgary or other parts of Calgary to get to you. So that's the first con. The second con, and I can't prove this because I haven't found data, but being born and raised here, the northeast part of Calgary can get hit really hard when hard hail or hard weather comes through here. So in the news articles you're going to see on the screen here, there have been residents who have been trying to apply uh, to the government over some of the last big hailstorms because of how bad it was up here. And so the northeast part of Calgary can get hit harder when it comes to hard weather. So the third con of living in the Northeast is you naturally have smaller houses here. So here's what I mean. So we pulled a market analysis over the last 30 days of what has sold in the whole city for detached properties. And in the Northwest, the average square footage was around 1700 square feet. The Southwest was 1500. The Southeast was 1800. And in the Northeast was actually 1300 square feet. So you do have smaller houses here selling a lot more. And that kind of comes with the price point too. But when you end up having these smaller homes, the other thing tied to that is the number of people that are living in them. And what's interesting there is I quickly pulled some civic data from the Calgary census, uh, the last one that we have. In 2019, the population in Saddle Ridge, where actually is where we are right now, was about 22,000 people. So I wanted to find another, another community that was similar, and that was about 19,000 people in Tuscany. And so in Tuscany, there are about three, three, just 3.0, <laughs> that was 3.2, 3.0 people live in a home in Tuscany. In all of Calgary, the average household is 2.6 people living in a household. And in Saddle Ridge, it's 4.1. So you end up having a little bit of smaller homes that are selling. You end up having more people living in those homes. And what ends up happening, and this is where the con part comes in, is you end up having more cars, more traffic, more parking, less space on the roads, because there are just, there's more people living in each property. And number four, four cons is the crime in the Northeast. So you can see the map on the screen over here. And this is the 2019 map. And in this map, uh, you can actually see in the Northeast section, there is more uh, crimes that are happening in the Northeast part of Calgary. And unfortunately, that is one of the things that so many people when they're trying to figure out where they're going to live focus on is this right here. But I want to talk about the pros because there are some great things about living in the northeast part of Calgary. So the first pro in living in the northeast part of Calgary is the ring road access and the flow of traffic. 
So it can be very easy, even though if it's busy, that's not what I'm talking about. It's the ease of access of figuring out how to get around. A lot of Northeast is in a grid pattern. So once you figure out your streets and your avenues, you can actually get around Northeast quite easily without a map. And then once you have access to the ring road, you can get out to the other parts of the city quite easily. Uh, so that's the first pro. The second pro is affordable homes. So what's great about this is if you're looking for a much more affordable option in Calgary and where you're gonna live, the Northeast, they got your back. So the median price, so we again looked over the last 30 days of when we shot this, Northwest median price, 644,000, Southwest 555,000, Southeast was $570,000, but the Northeast was $463,000. So you were definitely able to find more affordable options in the Northeast part of the city. And tied with those options is our third pro, which is you actually have a fairly good mix of newer and older, more established areas. The more older established areas in the Northeast are different than the rest of the city. Uh, a more established area in the Northwest, Southwest, even the Southeast is gonna be more bigger lots, um, more mature areas, bigger houses, estate houses, that kind of thing. The older areas here are still a lot of times the smaller houses. And that's why the square footage is so much smaller uh, when, we, when we talked about that as one of the cons. But you have everything from 1950 builds all the way up to brand new, so many brand new builders that are building around here. So there's some great options for you when you're actually looking for different types of homes. Now the fourth pro, and this is probably the biggest thing because even Justin, right Justin? He's our video guy. Justin, he's like, he, what have you driven up here for? Driven here for the food. The food. So number four is the food. You can find some of the best ethnic, some of the most authentic food that you can find probably anywhere in the whole city. And so uh, Avenue Magazine uh, voted Calgary Momo House as the best Northeast suburb pro uh, food place, right? Restaurant. And so that was what Avenue Magazine voted and maybe you should check it out. So if the Northeast is something that you're interested or anywhere else in the city, you may be wondering, should you sell now in the spring or in the fall? Like what is the right timing? Well, head over to this video here and we're gonna answer that question for you there. So we'll see you guys on that video.